guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video um, you will notice the background did change up a bit um, I needed a little more space you know you know um, but anyways in today's video this is a first impressions video I have some new products here that I want to test out and show you guys on camera what I think about the products so if you want to know um, what I think about these products um, just stay tuned don't forget to subscribe like and share and just keep watching so I have a lot of new things um, one first thing I have is the Smashbox photo finish primerizer and it is a primer and moisturizer in one looks like this and I've heard um, a lot of good things about this this has um, hy hyaluronic acid and niacinamide this is supposed to be really hydrating on the skin and I like that it's supposed to be a primer and a moisturizer it was really hydrating on the skin which I like I this a while ago I just haven't played around with it yet um, and it is the ColourPop yes please press powder shadow palette and it has 12 shadows And on the back, it just shows all the shadows. I did swatch them, I'm not going to lie. But this is how the shadows look. Very pigmented. All I'm going to do is set down some tape. I'm going to go in with this shade right here, the first one in the palette, just to kind of set down that primer. I have tried ColourPop shadows before. And I'm not going to lie, I did not like them. It was the one in the four, um, like the little four palette, I guess, if you want to call it. And I was not impressed with them. They were blending out very patchy. So I did not care for them. I think I'm going to try a halo today. So I'm going to go in um, with that yellow shade. And I heard this is a really, really good dupe. For the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette, which I really, really wanted that palette, but the way my bank account rolls, I am paying over a hundred dollars for an eyeshadow palette, and I think it's like, I think that palette's like one twenty-five. I'm just blending this yellow shadow in the crease. Going with this tiny little Elf brush, pick up this shade right here which is called champs forgot the name was on the back shadows are pigmented and I'm just gonna start blending that and then I'm just gonna go back in with the brush that I was using and apply a little bit more yellow to the crease pick up that red shade which is called butter cake I'm just gonna hack it on and it's good to do it with a small brush so that way if you have if you use like a different brush it kind of makes a mess everywhere so I find that it's better but so far these shadows are really blending out very nicely and I'm not having a problem at all which I'm so glad for because I don't know about you guys but I really hate spending money on makeup and it just does not work out for me and blending it right here whatever's left on the brush I'm just gonna take that the darkest brown in there which is called mischief and I'm only gonna bring this just right here I'm not taking it all the way to the inner corner just bringing it halfway I just want to intensify I know you guys are probably like didn't she just do a sunset look I don't care what I feel like doing I live for looks 
anything with reds. And all I'm going to do is take my Morph M562 brush and I'm just going to blend these colors. I find using a small brush is easier to blend with. What I'm going to do is just help diffuse those colors between the red and the yellow. Let's pick up that yellow again. I am loving this palette. I, I am not having a hard time blending out the colors. Red. And start blending it just in the crease. I'm gonna apply lightest shade in the palette, which is bling to my brow bone and now all I'm gonna do is wet my brush I'm gonna apply this shade right here which is note to self and I'm just gonna apply that right in the center I'm gonna take this color right here which is called spoiled and I'm just gonna apply that right on the center oh my, god. Oh my god this is so stunning it's ridiculous how pigmented this palette is I really, really highly recommend this palette. Let's take a little bit more of that red and I'm going to start blending it up here because I do have, have a hooded eyelids so I just want to take the red and kind of create my own eye shape. And kind of just bring it out a little bit more. And then I'm going to start blending this shade. I'm just going to go and add some more of that dark brown right here. Just add a little bit more shadow. I'm just going to blend again. A clean brush. And I'm just going to start blending this in. Um, one th new thing I have to try out is the Lamb Cone Monsieur, um, Monsieur Big Mascara by Lamcomb. I just have the travel size one. And I just want to try it out. So far I am liking this mascara. I don't know if you can tell, but it's definitely giving me length and volume. Definitely loving that mascara. As you can tell. The new foundation is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Lines Foundation. Um, it's supposed to be anti-aging, skin smoothing, invisible coverage, drops of light, optical blurring technology. Ew. It's supposed to um, anti-aging and skin loving peptides. Hydrolyzed collagen, hyaluronic acid, caviar extract and seawater, argan and babuso oil, vitamins A, C, E, B1, B2, B3, B5, B7, B9, COQ10. Yeah, this is what the packaging looks like. So... And I'm just going to put it, I don't have a new beauty blender to test out. This is just the same one I always use, which is my Flower Beauty. I'm just going to put it 
on my beauty blender. Hope this is my skin tone. It was a lighter shade, so hopefully. I'm not covering my cheek at all. And that was one pump. Put a little bit more. I still see redness. I can still see my pimple. I mean, it doesn't say it's full coverage, but I used one pump and a half just on one side of my face. It doesn't seem to be matte, and it doesn't seem to be luminous. It kind of seems to be like a satin finish. It's not a bad foundation. It looks pretty good on the skin. It does kind of seem like an kind of like an invisible type of coverage so I can see where they're getting at because it blends in really well in the skin but I do still see a lot of my redness and I tried applying more and it didn't really help so if you're a full coverage person you might not like this foundation but I actually really like it um, I have another new product from IT Cosmetics and it is the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealing Pot in Light. It looks like this. This is supposed to be weightless smoothing complete coverage concealer. Hmm, complete coverage. Oh, that seems to be good. This was the lightest shade they had too, so. I have a lot of darkness right here. So I need to make sure. I want to see if it hides any blemishes. And I'm going to see how that blends out with the Beauty Blender. I kind of feel like this just wiped off my concealer. Okay, I'm going to try this side with a brush because I don't feel like this is making quite a difference. This is definitely not a full coverage concealer. I would not even say that it is medium coverage. This is a pretty lightweight coverage concealer. And it's kind of drying out my skin a little bit. I have the e.l.f. Perfect HD Powder in clear. I'm going to set that under eye. It's already creasing. And this powder is really good. For me, I don't have a new um, bronzer, so I'm just going to use my Hola Light. I do have a new brush, though, which is the e.l.f. Pointed Powder Brush. But I'm actually going to use it to bronze up my face. Just because I feel like it's the perfect size brush for that. You can never go wrong with an elf brush i'm telling you i'm gonna take a little bit underneath my lip All right pixie it is a touch of beauty touch of blush cheek charm this one and this one i feel like my foundation looks so i'm gonna try to show you on camera but like all right here and here, my face looks really dry. To spray my face and hopefully rejuvenates it a little bit. But before I do that, um, I'm gonna finish the under eyes. I'm gonna go back in with the palette, this shade right here, which is Champs. I'm just gonna set it really close. And then I'm going to take that red shade. I'm actually going to add those two shades that I added. I'm going to spray my face first with the Catrice Long Lasting Prime and Fine Multi-Talent 
Fixing Spray. It prepares the skin, improves makeup wear, and refreshes complexion. Looks like this. Smells good. Kind of smells it's kind of similar to the Milani one. And I have two highlighters to try out. I have the Smashbox and Casey Holmes Spotlight Palette in Pearl. And then I have the new Stella Highlighter, Heaven's Hue Highlighter in Kitten. And this one is actually really cool because this is the one that's like putty. So I'm going to zoom you guys in. Looks like this. And you can like dent your finger in it and it doesn't go. I mean it goes on your finger but like then you can move it back. So it's pretty cool. So the Stella one I'm just going to swirl my brush. I see it a little bit. And this one is supposed to be really good. Um... For not sh like showing the texture on your skin, which I can kind of see that. Oh, it's peeking through all right, but this highlighter is definitely pigmented. Other side with the Smashbox and, and Casey Holmes. I love her. She's one of my favorite YouTubers. So packaging says turn it on pearl, crank it up pearl, and blow a fuse pearl. And I'm just gonna mix these two shades. This one is definitely pigmented as well. I feel like I like the Stella one a little bit better just because it doesn't really show that much texture and it looks wet on the skin. It doesn't necessarily look like highlight. It is by um, e.l.f. It is the, the new liquid matte lipstick in the shade T Rose. They had um, like the lippy sticks, the ones you roll up. And this, the T Rose, was my absolute um, favorite shade. And they came out with matte lippy, so I was like, gotta test them out, of course. Right here, this looks cracky. Oh, why is this so liquidy? Oh my god, it's splashing all over my mirror. Um, I heard Kathleen Lights talking about this. Said it was very drying. But we shall see. I absolutely love colors like this. Like I live for colors like this. Oh, it is really cracky. So I definitely see what she means. Um, it's like really setting into my fine lines, and it's really drying out my lips. But I'm going to play around with it. Um, I'm going to see how it works. If it works better um, with a lip balm or something underneath it. But this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I know this is another warm look. And I just recently did a warm look on my channel. But um, this palette was pretty much a warm toned palette. And um, I just wanted to see how it looked, how it tested out, and um, I typically go for warm looks anyways, but um, I'm really impressed with a lot of these products. One thing I will say I did not like um, is the It Cosmetics Concealer. I didn't like the It Cosmetics Concealer because it is supposed to be... Um, complete coverage and although it does look nice I mean I kind of like something with a little bit more coverage here wise and um, it didn't really cover anything you know what I mean I mean it's a nice weightless concealer 
um, like if you have to just run to the store or something, that's fine, but I don't know. And the lippy, I absolutely love the color. Does it transfer? It doesn't transfer, but it's just very drying. So I'm going to see if I can apply um, the next time I use it. I'll let you guys know in my next video. I'm going to apply something underneath and see if I like it better. But um, I really enjoyed everything. I love both of the highlighters. Both of the highlighters, the Stilla and the Casey Home highlighters are amazing. Um, I'm really impressed with all the products. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my channel. And I'll see you next time in my next video. Bye, guys. <gasps> oh, my God. You scared the crap oh out of me. I didn't know. <laughs> Hi. Sorry. You literally scared the crap out of me. I almost poked my eye out. <laughs> Damn, what are you, a ninja? I didn't even hear you coming down. Uh, um...